Hello everyone, this is Android Josh, and today I'm going to show you how to um, install the new Android Creative Syndicate ROM with uh, a guy named Jez Too Cool. Um, I'm going to show you how to install it. The name is ACS Go Green. Um, so, as you can take a look here, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a link in the description to the ACS Syndicate team uh, website instead of XDA. It's on XDA, but you just want to download this um, ROM. You can download it from whatever you want. I downloaded it from the ACS Mirror. So, do that. And once you do that, put it in your SD card. And once that's done, uh, boot in the clockwork. And you should be here. I just made an Android backup, and I recommend doing that just in case you don't like the ROM if you're already on a ROM. So, yeah. And they recommend a clean install. So, I'm going to do that right now. So, wipe data, factory reset, three times. Two, three. Um, sorry, it's kind of hard to do this with the phone. Um, not the phone, the camera right in front of me. Wipe cache. Two times. Three times. All right, now I just gotta wipe the Dalvik. Three times. Advanced. Wipe Dalvik cache. Again. Alright. So I formatted everything three times. Wipe the cache three times. And I wiped the Dalvik cache three times. So now you want to go back. Install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Now navigate with clockwork mod with the uh, volume buttons to your um to the ROM and it's called ACS Go Green dot zip. Yes, install ACS Green dot go zip. And just wait for it to install. Should go through a little scroll through like that. So I'll just lay down. Wait for that to finish. While we're waiting, this is gonna read off some of you things. It features Go Launcher. And I'm not really a big fan of Go Launcher, uh, so I'm probably gonna switch to Launcher Pro. <clears throat> also, in my last video, I'm, I'm not using Clockwork, uh, I mean, uh, Signage Mod 7 anymore, because there's a really big call bug. Whenever someone would call you, you have to wait like 15 seconds until you could answer it, which is really weird. And therefore, I took it off, because some people would hang up before I could answer, so it was really annoying. Anyways, they're saying that the internet browser in this one could be laggy. 3D app drawer in the AOSP launcher is blurry. Uh, but the benchmarks is a 4121, which is pretty good, I guess. Uh, ACS Bamboozle, which is a ROM I'm coming from right now. Uh, somewhere around there, I believe. Um, let's, uh, I want to know how much you could overclock it to, though. Probably 1.3, like Bamboozle. Um, still going there, it says making magic, now the ROM's installing BusyBox, alright, I think it's done, yep, once it's finished, um, just hit back, reboot system now, there should be a little boot animation, I want to see that, they also said that, uh, what's it called, something about the boot animation was going to be weird the first time, go find it. Can't find it. Uh, I only saw it on the Epic uh, XDA. All right, it's vibrating. I don't think that's good, but I think that's what they said. I'm not sure. Let me go find it. Keeps on vibrating. On our first boot, there will be buzzing at the Samsung screen. So it'll pass. Give it time. Okay. Guess that's what they mean by buzzing.
boot animation sound. It's a nice little animation and it has sound. I don't really like my boot animations to have sound because if I'm in class or something, my phone turns on. Even though I don't bring my phone to school, I'm just saying. Uh, I just don't like a, a noise being there when I turn my phone on. Because it's that awkward moment where everyone looks at you. All right, it's probably going to take a while since you wiped the Dalvik. And the boot animation just froze on me. It better be good. Alright, good. It's going now. It's a nice little animation. It's uh that takes the place I guess of the original ACS boot animation. Throws again on me. Just wanna get to the ROM already. By the way, I'm using the sprint case and uh it's not the the back is very good but the front is kinda of giving me trouble. It's kinda of broke. I don't really like it. it. Doesn't have anything on the inside like rubber, so I'm probably gonna switch to the uh, Otterbox commuter case. I, I, the only reason why I didn't get it at first is because they didn't have it in my store, my mall. So I just got, I just went to the Sprint store and got this. It's thirty dollars, and I found it on Amazon for twenty. So the Otterbox case. So I'm probably gonna just gonna go get that. This was like twenty bucks, and it's like nothing. All right, it vibrated. Alright, um, I'm just going to try out the regular launcher right now. Alright, so it's stock gingerbread launcher. Uh, there's a new font. It's like, uh, I, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a new, kind of new font. You can't see that, can you? Nope, well... I don't know how I'm going to show... Oh, uh, yeah, I can show you right here. That's basically the new font. And everything. It's a new font for everything. I'm going to try out the Go Launcher. See how it looks on this. Go Launcher is supposed to... Uh, no. Okay. The only thing I like about Go Launcher is the app drawer. That's pretty cool thing about it. Um, new dial pad. Let's see. Contact, same thing. Messaging, same thing. Browser said was going to be a little laggy. Let's see the new apps they have in. I'm just going to go to... AOSP or whatever stock Android. They have Black Market. Um, don't know. I think that's just to get free apps. I'm believing. I'm not sure. I've never used it before. I guess that's to, just to get free apps. But um, I don't don't I rec don't recommend doing that. I recommend paying for your apps. I only paid for two apps that I really needed. Uh, Titanium Backup Pro and Launcher Pro. There's a Myron browser. Okay, this is uh, kind of cool. Can you do this by default now? Just gonna switch to Launcher Pro. There's Google Plus already installed. A new music app. Oh no. I have to install the stock music app. I hate the stock music app. I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Let's see, there's a widget for it. There's a widget for that one. Alright, what is this? Like, they messed up with the theme right there. I guess it's supposed to be around the whole thing. It's kind of annoying. Probably just gonna... Yeah, this, that's just annoying. Yeah, there's a music app. It's pretty cool. Or music widget, I believe. Faster fix. Let's see what this is. <coughs> Sorry. Alright. Um, so that's about it. Um, probably gonna play around with this ROM for a few days. And, um, let me just go to the settings applications. There's Overscore Mod 2.3.4, um, EG22, right there, it says that. 
And let me just see if I, uh, as always, and all the ROMs now. Uh, puzzle unlock. Wait, what is this? That's weird. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but I guess so. I don't know. Let me go to lock screen settings, see if they have any new lock screens. This is kind of getting a long video. Oh, yeah, let's see if disabling lock screens works in this uh, one, because it didn't work in the last one. See? It doesn't disable the lock screen. Alright. New lock screen styles. Nope, I'm probably just going to go to the MUI. Or, no, the uh, 4 tab. I like that one. 4 tab works. The messaging works on this one, too. Doesn't freeze up like in a uh, ACS ECO5 syndicate. All right, guys, that's about it. This video is getting way too long, and um, yeah, uh, if this video helped, don't forget to thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. It would help a lot. Thanks.